Good morning everybody! I am Teacher Lance and I'll be your teacher for today. Today we're going to learn mathematics and we're going to discuss how to add numbers with the sum less than 10. Alright? So we're going to learn how to add numbers. Okay. The process of adding number is called addition. Okay? It is addition. So we're going to have our first problem. Poppy has two flowers. Her friend gives her one flower. How many flowers does she have now? Okay, so there's a girl and her name is Poppy. And she has two flowers. Alright, remember she has two flowers. And then her friend gives her another one. And then how many flowers does she have now? So we're going to write the number sentence. We're, okay, this is the these are the flowers. She got two flowers at first and then she got another one from her friend. So it is equal to this amount of flowers. So we're going to count it. One, two, Three. Alright, she now has three flowers. Okay, therefore the answer for this problem is three flowers. Remember when we are counting on from a bigger number, it will speed up addition. So here we have two, right? And one. And since 2 is bigger than 1, we will start first with 2. So 1, 2, and then we, we will continue counting to the next number, which is 1. So 1, 2, 3. There are 3 flowers, okay? Now we're going to have our vocabularies or the words that we are going to face for today. These words are related to addition the first word is sum okay so what is sum when we count the number of objects or people in two or more groups all together we add the number of groups the number that we count is called the sum okay sum is the total of the addition equation okay it is the answer in addition. We call it sum. Next is number sentence. We can use numerals and symbols to represent the calculation. It's called a number sentence. A number sentence is like this. Alright? We use it to represent the problem in symbols. Alright? Or numbers. Okay, so here we have for example two plus 1 is equal to box. It's a number sentence. And then we have the parts of the addition equation. Here we have the and addend, and sum. Right? So in the equation 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, we have the and 2. It is the number at the top. Alright, it is again. And then we have the addend 1. It is the number that is being added to the again. Okay, it's called addend. And then the total is sum. It, it is the answer in the equation. It is in the last part, okay? Alright. This symbol is called plus sign. It represents addition, okay? And then this is equal sign. It represents the total of the addition equation, okay? Equal sign represents equality. Or that means that the numbers in the left are equal or, the, or has the same value with the numbers in the right. Alright, we have here another problem. 
There are three boys and four girls. How many students are there all together? Here there are three boys. One, two, three. And then there are four girls. One, two, three, four. So the question is, how many students are there all together? So we have to find out how many students are there all in all. Alright, in order to solve the problem, we have to write the number sentence first. Okay, we... Okay, here we have 3 plus 4 equals blank. 3 plus 4 is equal to blank. Okay, we can use box to represent the unknown. Alright? And after that, we're going to have our final answer. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So now I want you to open your book to page 57. Here we're going to answer some problems. The first problem is number 1. 3 frogs and 2 more frogs are blank frogs. Okay, how many frogs are there? There were three frogs and then there are two more frogs. So how are we going to know the answer? We're going to count them all. Okay, so let's begin. One, two, three, four, five. There are five frogs. So we're going to write five on the or inside the Hexagon, okay? Number two. Two birds and four more birds are blank birds. Two birds and four more birds are blank birds. So we're going to count two and four. Let's add them. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six birds. Therefore, we're going to write 6 inside of the hexagon. 2 birds and 4 more birds are 6 birds, okay? Alright, very good. Let's go to number 3, kids. Number 3, we have 1 monkey and 5 more monkeys. Okay, we're going to find out what is the answer by counting them all right so we have one two three four five six there are six monkeys so we're going to write six inside of the hexagon therefore one monkey and five more monkeys are six monkeys all right good job so that's it for today today we learned how to add two numbers with the sum that is less than 10. So I hope that you learned something from Teacher Lance and also I hope that you enjoyed this class. Happy learning kids! Bye-bye!